Um, uh, ra- random side note, only because I was with some friends a couple weeks ago and this argument broke out. One of my friends said, made a comment about Matt Ryan. He said, oh yeah, Matt Ryan, you know, future Hall of Famer, first ballot, blah, 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 blah. And he's saying all these things and I instantly went, wait, 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 time out. <laughs> what, what, what did you just say? He's like, oh yeah. I was like, did you just say Matt Ryan and Hall of Famer? in the first <laughs> in the same sentence and then he responded by saying yeah of course duh like he it was so like obvious to him and he was like just shocked that i wouldn't agree and i'm like he's like oh he's clearly a first ballot hall of famer and i'm like uh i'm i'm not sure he's a hall of famer at all let alone first ballot like I, if i'm voting today on whether or not matt ryan's a hall of famer i'm voting no he's not a hall of famer but i just can't help but, so just settle the debate what do you think is matt ryan a hall of famer in your book well, it's it's strange because um, I, I know it's a different era, uh, but where where do you think Matt Ryan? Maybe you know this already, but like where do you think Matt Ryan ranks an all time passing yards? I mean, he's got to be in the top ten all time, but but he's played in a crazy era, right? But he's right. probably in the top seven, top eight is my guess. He's number eight. Um, he's at, he's at fifty nine thousand yards, so he's he's very close to passing sixty thousand. And once he gets to sixty one thousand three hundred sixty one. It was a special number because that's what Dan Marino's all-time record was before a bunch of guys passed them. I think Brett Favre was the first one. And then ever since then, you had Tom Brady, Drew Brees, Peyton Manning, Roethlisberger, Phillip Rivers. It just shows you how, how much of a different era we're in. Like yeah, Marino, totally. it's yeah. Marino 61,000 is, is insane uh, based on how he played and what era he played in. Yeah. But, like, but for a quarterback to pass Dan Marino on the all-time passing, I, I know it's a different era. So like, I think people are going to use that as an argument for Matt Ryan. Um, the, for him to be in the Hall of Fame, I, I I would not vote for him to be in the Hall of Fame. Uh, but if he gets in, at, like if he gets in first ballot, I'll complain. But if he gets in after like the fourth, fifth try, I think I'd I think I'd be okay with it. I I, I wouldn't be too excited. I think for me, it would it, what might really cement it is if Matt Ryan has a deep playoff run in Indianapolis. Uh, maybe not even the Super Bowl, but if he gets to the AFC Championship and has a great year, throws for almost five thousand yards, which I, I don't think is going to happen, but like th- hypothetically, if that happens. Then, like you're talking about him suddenly having sixty four thousand passing yards, which would put him fifth all time. Um, if he gets the fifth all time, if he's a top five, if he's in the top five for passing yards all time, he's getting in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, I, you're right. I mean, those it's so hard to measure the stats because the eras are so different and there's so yeah. much passing. Here, here's the question I ask myself: At any time in Matt Ryan's career, from two thousand and eight, right, he's drafted third overall in two thousand eight, I believe. Yeah. From 2008 until until last season, was he ever a top five quarterback in the NFL at any point in his career? Would I say? And the answer is no. In fact, for most of his career, he wasn't even a top like seven or eight quarterback. Like there was one year where he was borderline top five. Most of his career, he was like, and I'm not, I'm not talking about stats. Just like if you're like like for throughout his career, if you're just like, hey, I got I got one game to win. How many guys are going to take Matt Ryan? Like from 2008 to 2020 to 2021. Like if you're having an argument on like, if I got one game to win, am I taking Matt prime Matt Ryan versus Hmm. any other quarterback in the last 12, 13, 14 years? Matt Ryan is nowhere in the conversation. Um, And there's only one, there's one moment where he's on the stage where he is up 28 to three, right? Or 25 to three, right? He's, he's up big. In the, in the Super Bowl, he needs one first down to cement the Super Bowl, and he can't do it. And he ends up losing the biggest – like, in the biggest stage, he comes up very small. And so I – Matt Ryan has never been a top-five quarterback at any point in his career. He's never the guy you're going to go to. His stats are inflated. And in this biggest moment in his career, he played absolutely terrible, came up weak. I, I can't put that guy in the Hall of Fame. I can't. I, that just seems – I know, as you said, you're right. If he gets to be he gets to 65,000 plus yards, he's going to get in probably. I'm going to complain about it though. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I I can't I can't disagree with anything you said. Like everything you said is on point. In 2016, he was he was terrific. Like he had almost 5,000 yards, he had 38 touchdowns. He was the MVP that year. I I, don't, I wouldn't have voted for him to be MVP that year, but I you know he did win the award. I, I think that year alone i think you could say he might have been a top five quarterback but like outside of 2016 that's not the case uh and he but he's always been consistent he's always been like the like the number eight number nine number ten quarterback right in the nfl right he's always been in that range 
uh, never, never great. So I, I guess that's the case for Hall of Fame. Uh, so like I said, I, I would not vote him in, but if he gets to 65,000 yards, he he's almost certainly going to be in. And um, coach says, if Atlanta didn't choke in the Super Bowl to the Patriots, Ryan would be first ballot. Yeah. If, if he had a Super Bowl win, I mean, look, I mean, that's one of the cases you made is that he choked right. on the biggest stage. If he did right. not choke on the biggest stage, then we would be looking at him as a Super Bowl champion. Right. Exactly. Um, but having you know, beaten Tom Brady, I mean, that's right. a big deal. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, who, who else has done that? Uh, not many so, guys have done it. Right, right, exactly. Right. <laughs> um, and, and I think something telling, right. Is, is like people, when people criticize the Falcons in that game, they'll say, Oh, Kyle Shanahan forgot to run the ball. But like, would you ever say that like with the Tom Brady led team? Oh, the, the Patriots or now Buccaneers, they didn't run the ball enough. Like, no, they have Tom Brady. Like, why are you worried about them running the ball? Like right. if, if, if Matt Ryan is that great, you're gonna be like, oh, just keep the ball in Matt Ryan's hands. It's, it's right. better off that way. And people don't say that. They don't. I, I mean, to me, the, the resume, the stats look like they're there. Um, the resume is not, in my opinion. I, you know, I just, I have the eye test. I go, is this guy great? Am I it, it, when, 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 when I've got to play one game, that's, that's kind of ultimately for me. Like if I got to win one game, the best version of Matt Ryan, how often do I want that guy? The best version of Matt Ryan, I'm never taking over the best version of Tom Brady or Peyton Manning or Russ or, or Russell Westbrook um, or Andrew. <laughs> Russell Westbrook. Did I say Westbrook? Sorry. <laughs> Russell Wilson. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I meant to say Russell Wilson. Uh, you know, I'm never take, listen, the best version of Nick Foles beat Tom Brady in the Super Bowl. The best version of Nick Foles is better than the best version of Matt Ryan on one day. I'm just saying <laughs> facts, people, facts. Okay, don't well, Nick, tweet, don't at me. Nick Foles is a free agent, so uh, we'll see if a uh, team uh, follows your enthusiasm and signs him. Uh, I-